Welcome back to my channel. This episode is going to be rather straightforward. It's a first part of the bathroom renovation. I wanted to make this just one episode, but there was no chance of that just happening. Uh, the project was a little bit slower because I'm only me working at it and I just wanted to make sure that I did it correctly so of course it's going to take a little bit more time but first I'll just have to do a little bit of a clean up here in the office or master bedroom which I'm using them as the office and after that we'll get started oh yeah and a side note this episode is totally going to be me forgetting to put a new battery or staying on top of the cameras always recording so still learning sorry oh yeah and it would be awesome if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell it does really help to get my videos seen by more and i'm hoping i can earn a little living off this so that would be awesome enjoy the video <laughs> just starting working and never mind not telling people what I'm doing just starting but at the moment I'm setting up a water membrane for the bathroom so it's gonna be watertight and doesn't give me problems down <laughs> So that project is finished for now. Now I just have to let it dry for around about 12 hours or so, so basically tomorrow. And yeah, the water membrane's in. And I'm pretty happy with the finished project. It should hold all the water away, at least the splashing. There will be a shower tray over there, so I'm not that too worried. But still, better safe than sorry. 
Here are the tools I need to put down the flooring. Two cans of glue and of course something to stir it with. A knife to cut the, the flooring, a spatula to put out the glue, measuring tape of course, a rubber mallet to hammer to them together and of course cleaning. Let's get this party started. Every day of the week, a big soft chair for when I'm old, tackle box and a fish pole. I don't care about the fortune of fame, I just don't want to know my mailman's name. At Christmas time, I'm gonna leave him a gingerbread cookie. It don't sound like much. So, I just finished off the flooring for the bathroom, and it looks rather good. I'm quite happy about it. As you can see, Huko approves too. He's very happy too. Ain't you Huko? Yes. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. But here comes the next problem. I knew the floor was slanted, but I didn't know how much slanted it was. So here it is. But here I have a leveler, as you can see, by the bubble that is quite slanted. And to get it here is level. It's way too much of an engineering thing to try to fix that. So rather instead, I'm going to just ignore it for now. Maybe in a couple of years or decades, I'll fix it. But for now, yeah, that's not going to happen. Because I know the floor is structurally sound. I've seen the supports itself. Uh, they're good. Um, I'm going to use that wall as my level because I know the floor is slanted like this. So I'm going to put up the first aluminum bracket for the for the walls up there, and I'm going to fix them up. That those are level, and then I'm going to make this level from them, and then I'm going to make this one level from them. So yeah. That's the next, next headache. All oh, the joy of do it yourself.
be the, a very common theme that I run out of battery. But so far, this is as far as I've gotten so far. since I'm doing most of it, not most of it, all of it by myself. But so far I've almost finished one wall and I've been able to put up a temporary toilet, but here's the box itself, the water intake and everything. So I can go to the bathroom finally at home. Yay! But yeah, so yeah, there's gonna be another episode next Monday of me hopefully finishing around about 90% of the bathroom. But until then, I hope you subscribe and hit all that, and I'll see you next week.